Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome. So, I wanted to share a tour with you of my 2020 Nulti Listy. And I decided to go ahead and get this late in the year. I was looking into it in December of 2019. And then this actually arrived after January had started. So I've done a few things to make use of the paper that I wasn't going to use and the calendar that I was unable to use since it arrived at the end of January. So I got this off of Etsy. This is a brand that's been in existence since 1949. It has the Tomoe River paper. And I am just so loving it. So it is the Nilty Listy. And it is in the turquoise cover. This is just a vinyl cover that they have on it. This is the side view. Front. Side view. As were, and I've added some things to it. So, and I've been doing some things. And that's the bottom. I added these two beads on. These little can hard candy um, laser cut um, beads. And then I also, I tied it on there. And I also put a bead of glue the OS 6000 just to keep it intact because I found that when I was drawing and things it would pop off so it has this on the cover and I've decorated so I just thought I would show you I've had just added this in this little bow set so let's go ahead and remove this piece and it has these tags so you can see what it is if you were interested now you can get this on Amazon Japan can't get it on a, just the um, Amazon in the U.S. here, unfortunately. So, there's that. But if you just look this up on, multi, on Etsy, you'll find it. If you are interested. And then I had just added that in. Yay, so I can take those off. I decided to go ahead and show you folks. Okay, so all I did here is it was a progression of things, and I watercolored. And well, actually, first I added these washi tape transparent stickers, and I had these in my stash, and I cut them. I just added them, and then a friend of mine gave me these JoJo, so I added this one, this one, and this one are from JoJo. So I put those there. This reminds me of Uncle Wiggly, the little rabbit book. So I like this. And then I went ahead and did the back exactly the same way. And I had these flowers on hand already. So I really like the way that looks. Very cute. And then this has, this is part of the cover, so it just slips right in. And it has a pen loop. I'm probably going to take this cover off. I have something else. So. And it actually does slip off and on very, very easily. This is an A5 slim size. So it's not quite as big as the Jubin Ticho. But almost, I would say about that yay big, about that much space between this part of the Jubin Techo. 
So the cover just slips right off. It's a vinyl cover, like I said. Very simple, very lightweight. Cute color. Okay, and then I'll just show you what I've done to the outside. So I used my Posca paint markers and I just drew in waves with the sunset. And I did it on both sides. So I like that. I thought that was cute. I used several different blues and just drew it. I didn't pencil draw it first. I just did it. <clears throat> and then at the very end, I drew the sunset peeking through the waves, as it were. So, and then I also did the spine just one blue color. So, since I have you back here, I also will show you that this part right here are the book markers, these two. So, it was way down here, as you can see from the glue that the manufacturer put there. So, I took it off and I moved it up. Because once you tie beads on, you lose some of the length. Okay. So I wanted to keep that intact. So I just added a bead of EOS 6000 glue there. And it works just fine. So it's totally hooked to the book. Still. Okay. So that is the front and the front inside. This is the back. And this is the back flap inside. In okay, case so that was confusing. And then I've done all sorts of things. So I did some drawings. And this, I did these in pencil and then I inked them and then I colored them in. Um, so this is a unicorn eating a donut. Very cute. And then this one is a unicorn with a hot air donut hot air balloon. And then I added some hearts and some clouds on this one. And just hearts on this one. And then I just added kawaii stickers all around. Several of them. So I thought that turned out super sweet. I'll bring that up so you can see that better. And it says Nolte right there. But I just kind of did a border all the way around. And then I did a border here on top of the hot air balloon donut. And then you have your three years at a glance. So 2020, 2021, or four years, 2019 and 2022. And then I drew some fountain pens, different sizes and varietals, and a bottle of fountain pen ink. Really like the way that turned out. Because I wasn't going to use that space for anything. So, And then this is your full yearly plan page, as it says, and it indicates right here, your yearly plan. And I've just covered this up for privacy. And then I used, um, what I did was, is this was the month of January. So since it didn't arrive until late, I just covered that up with a piece of um, pink paper, copy paper. And then I used some stickers and I put sleepy time. So what I'm utilizing for this is my sleep schedule, how much sleep I get in the hours every day. And then I watercolor a border all along all of the edges. Just so it gives it some interest. And it's fun to look at. And then this was the um, January page. So since it arrived after the fact, I just used a piece of leftover um, scrapbook paper and I covered that. And then I used a punch, a scallop circular punch. One, two, three, four, five. These are my five main categories. And then I have some cut out smaller ones that I'll put 
all of the bullet points underneath that and I put goals here with a nice sticker some stickers that I had on hand and I'll fill that in I was just waiting to film this before I did so and then the same thing over here this was another January page that I wasn't going to use or this is the month of January this was the cover and I just decided to use it for that and then this was the monthly spread for January and what I'm going to do on here is a vision board so I covered this whole thing just with this plaid um, paper scrapbook paper that I had on hand and then we get into this now this is the month of February as you can see through the watercolor paint that I've done here and I just added watercolor all along the border of it and then I wrote Mojo Chronicles so this is basically a mood tracker for me I'm using the monthly pages for that because this is my memory keeping planner and I want to remember um, just whatever happened in the day the little things the big things everything and then how I feel I put here basically and then I just hand lettered Mojo Chronicles so mojo you know it's like how you feel and then here is the month of March that we are currently in and I've covered this up for privacy again I've hand lettered mojo chronicles here and then I've also done that for April already here and then I might do some more drawing here or watercoloring just depends on what I feel like doing and the same thing for each month and then these are just the rest of the blank ones and you get quite a bit of space in these monthly in this monthly layout as you can see so you can write quite a bit because you have various feelings throughout the day it's not just one feeling for the whole 24 hours you know so you have quite a bit of room to gather all of that information there and then this runs up through March of 2021 okay and then we get into the week section and since I didn't use January like I said I have done some things and made some collections for all of the weeks that I did not use. Here is a blank one. I'll just show you randomly. This is how the week's layout is set up. So you actually have the month prior, the current month, and then they highlight in gray the week that this is, and then the following month. So this happens to be May, June, and July for this week of June. Okay. And then it has a, a section here that's totally blank. So you can write whatever you want. And then you have this whole entire space for each and every day of the week. And it runs Monday through Sunday. So I think that's nice. I like the layout. So... Let's see okay so for the first collection that I've done I labeled this and in order to cover up the January things and the dates that are on here I just used some kawaii stickers and underneath that throughout all the collections that I've done to to utilize the paper because otherwise it was just going to go to waste I covered it with just some leftover paper that I had measured it out and cut it and glued it in and then I hand lettered the bookshelf so I just put in the current book that I'm reading right now which so happens to be a classic The Master and Margarita by Mikhail Bulgakov and then I drew all these books at the bottom so I think that turned out really cute and I had a nice time doing that and I did go over this with pencil first so I did a pencil drawing and then I inked 
over that and then I colored it in. So I was able to get quite a few books drawn in in this space. Now it thickens it up with the stickers and this is actually cardstock, but it's not too bad. And then this one right here is I hand lettered crafts. And then I just drew a whole bunch of craft items. And then I inked it and then I colored it in. So I have my glue, my watercolor palette, some scissors, a water brush, and some fountain pens, washi tape, a glue gun, and some buttons, and some thread, and a needle, and more washi. I like that. And then this side is for whatever I want to organize. So I just put a Michael's Cube for paper organization and some papers here and a scroll paper and some other tags with a clip for that. And it can be any kind of organizing. Um, I just drew that in, you know, just for any part of your house that you want to tackle. Like, let's say you want to rearrange your kitchen and organize the kitchen so it functions properly. Um, you know, I would add that in here. Okay. And then I have a section that I've also, I've hand lettered all of the names of the collections. So this is my writing prompts section. So then I can fill this out. I was just waiting to film. And then I drew a bunch of just different journals and planners. I have my Happy Nietzsche, my Hobo Nietzsche Weeks, and different planners. So that's how I decided to use that. And then, let me show you a better look at that. Very cute. And then this one is for a section for when I see a word that I like and I just want to use it more in writing, etc. And so I just made words my art by writing it in all different ways. So, and then I can just add whatever words. And then next I have a section for my values. So, um, I just made a little, like, stop post that you see. Like right, wrong, honesty, morals, integrity, things like that. A little focus. There it goes. Okay, cool. All right. And then I made a section for self care. So I have a bubble bath, a tea cup with a tea bag hanging out, my book for reading, a face mask, yarn, my crochet hook, my broomstick lace hook candle and different lotions and serums um, and then a plant that's what I think of when I think of self-care so I just drew those things in and then we come to movies so these I did a full spread on two pages for this because you can add all the movies you watch or you want to watch in this section. So I put five stars and some 3D glasses and th some 3D effects and a movie reel, popcorn, a TV, some film, and so the clicker, like call scene or whatever. And filming equipment. I thought that was so cute. So when you have movie night, you can just jot down what you watch, what you watched and how you would rate it. And then here I wanted a section, just a quick section for my go-to recipes. Just a few of them in case, you know, you can't figure out what you want for dinner and you want to plan that ahead of time. Then you can just write down your go-to meals like Taco Tuesday or whatever it is that you have, spaghetti and meatballs. Okay, so I drew a couple of recipe cards and then a sifter on each recipe card. Ingredients, directions, I have a whisk, flour, um, 
a handheld mixer, a measuring spoon, and a set of measuring spoons. Let's just show you that like that. Okay. And then this section is my section for healthy snacks. So I have some blueberries and some sugar-free frozen yogurt. Drew that in. And then some of these I did go ahead and like for the flour sifter and the whisk and things, I went ahead and used my clear Wink of Stella on top. Because those things are shining in. So I did that. And then this section is for a holiday menu. So I drew dates and I drew rice and some kebabs and some cookies, mahmoud cookies and some basbusa and fatire and a little della and some kahwa coffee and some kebsa with lamb, my favorite meal in the whole wide world delicious oh it's my favorite so i like the way that turned out these shish kebabs are everything so this is for holiday menu planning and then this is for holiday groceries so whatever grocery lists you might have like let's say you want to do this for thanksgiving you buy a turkey and bread and poultry seasoning etc and vegetables so i think that's cute i have mint i have eggplant i have pita bread i have carrots i have garlic i have two different kinds of chili peppers because i like my heat and bell peppers a potato and an onion red onion because it's better for you and so i left two pages again for that spread and then this one is for my daily routine. So I have my journal, my fountain pen, I pray, take a bubble bath. <laughs> and I even wrote lush bath bubble bar right on there. And then brushing your teeth and your toothpaste and your reading, whatever book it is. And then iced coffee is my favorite. And then we have weekend routine on the other page. So in this, you have more time, right? Usually. So I have my filming equipment, lights, a watercolor palette, and a watercolor brush. And I have Scrabble right here. So it says, me, wovs, use. And then I put sky because I always told my susus, me, wov, use. As far as the sky is long, around the sun, around the moon, and back again. Forever and ever. Sealed with a kiss. Mwah! They know who they are. My Susus. And then a puzzle. So, I can leisurely take time during the weekend to do those things. And then finally, we get into the actual week section. So this is for February. And then... I covered this up for privacy and I just doodled on here. It says choose your own path and I drew a road. Cool. And then this one is another road and it says I just ride and that's a lyric from Lana Del Rey, one of hers. I love her. And so do my susus, by the way. <laughs> and then I drew another doodle. This is the Dr. Seuss, oh, the places you'll go. So it says, I hand lettered all of this. It says, you have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. And then here's the hot air balloon and the grassy grass in the hills. That reminds me of the sound of music a little bit too. <laughs> With the hills. So I like that. And again, I just put the post-its here to cover for privacy. And then this one is a cute one. My friend turned me on to this little character. And in the movie, he dances. And then as soon as this guy this looks at him, he freezes as if he wasn't dancing at all. I think she said that was part two because she showed it to me. She watched that little blurb. So his name is Groot. I am Groot. And he is hilarious. I think he is totally funny. 
so the movie's something galaxy but any I haven't seen the whole thing but my friend was sharing that with me so I thought that was cute all right and then we have droopy dog isn't he so sweet and he's like holding up a sign that says I'm so happy I'm so happy because and he uses that voice like Eeyore's voice from Winnie the Pooh like he's not really happy he's being facetious so that's funny I'm so happy word okay and then we have the current week and obviously you know who that is that's Yogi Bear <laughs> so he was fun to draw so I drew him and it says I'm I wrote I'm smarter than your average bear because he always says that in his cartoon I love this one I think him Yogi Bear and Groot are my favorites and can you not so far those are my favorites so I really like drawing these and then this is for next week I already started pencil drawing Bugs Bunny so he's not finished yet so and then that's this is our current week right here so and the rest are blank after that and then let's get all the way to the back so this runs through um january 3rd 2021 so because january 31st is on a thursday so you have those three days extra in the planner okay and then we come to some blank sheets so i do one little word and um i do this graph every year and jennifer ross turned me on to this a few years ago and she was turned on to it by someone else here on YouTube who made this for their project life um, to keep up with that and so she did it for one little word and I've been doing it ever since so my one little word for this year is consonate and then I just use some stamps and I use some stickers for this these are Allie Edwards stamps I love these huge ones too and then I have week so every week of the year and this year ends with 53 weeks because 12 27 through 1 2 january 2nd and then i added in date range so i have january 1st through january the 4th so that starts on a wednesday and so on and so forth and then I have PSE, so photos, stories, and then embellishments. So you just tick it off every week, those three things. And you don't have to necessarily do pictures every time. So you can just draw a line through that if you happen to not. And then I have my key here, photos, P, photos, S, stories, E for embellishments. And then I have my year-end page and my year title page and my spine label and I'll just tick those off as I do them and I haven't ticked anything off even though I've started but I will so I like having this it keeps me accountable and up-to-date and current hopefully in doing my project and sometimes you're really busy some years so you end up doing several of those um, prompts in one month let's say you know so I have a section here and I want to write down all of the fountain pens that I own so I just drew a whole bunch of fountain pens various ones with some ink splatters I think these are really cute so I really like these spreads and then I have, so I have one, two, three, four more fountain pens. I'll show you this side first. 
Okay. And then this side. Very sweet. Okay, so I left four pages. I think that is enough room for me. Just not what I'm currently inked up in. Just all of the fountain pens that I do own will go on these four pages. Okay, and then I left ten. I did ten pages for all of my fountain pen ink because I have quite a bit of a collection. And so I just drew various different fountain pen ink bottles. I love these. These are very cute. So that's another project that I'll, a couple different projects that I'm doing currently. I love all these bottles. They are so much fun to draw to. I really just took my time and leisurely did these drawings. And you know we all have ink splatters from our fountain pens. <laughs> if we spill it over or what have you. And this bottle even has a fountain pen in it. Like a dip pen. And then these. And all, every single bottle that I drew is different. So I really like took the time to do that. And that's the last page of that, of this section for this collection. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pages. And then four pages for my fountain pens, which I think will be adequate. And then you have a few more blank pages. And this paper is really nice to write on and draw on. So you have several blank pages and then you come to the last section of this and you have subway maps of Japan. And even if you don't use these, you can rip them out and use them in your art journal or your junk journal or what have you. So these are fun to have. Or you could just do art right on top of this in this planner. And then we have this. And this is chron chronology. I don't know what any of that says because I can't read Japanese. Um, but And then this is one of the flaps. And I used a newsprint hero art stamp. And I just stamped on top of it. And I added... Um, a couple pieces of, I ripped it, the paper. This is from um, P.W. Ackerman in the Netherlands ink that I have. And they wrapped the ink in the boxes in this beautiful paper. So I wanted to add that in. I think it's quite lovely. They're like trees with leaves falling. Really like it. And I like this vibe of the newsprint. So I just stamped that on with my stays on. And I might do some other things to this and add a quote, hand letter, something there. But that's the beauty of this. This is my memory keeping planner. And so I can just do whatever I want and decorate it. And, you know, no date requirement for this kind of thing. Or if I want to decorate here, I just leisurely do it. And then in the weekly sections, like I said... I actually use that as to what happened during the day. So, and then I showed you this already. Okay, guys, that, my friends, is everything. So I highly recommend this Nulti Listy. I'm really digging using it. Um, I didn't know I was going to add another planner to the mix, but I did. So there's that little nugget for you. Okay, guys, if you like this flip through, I hope that you do consider subscribing to my channel and I wish you folks all a very beautiful day. Peace out.